What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Tory Lanez is having an issue right now, being that he's still locked up in county jail, looking for his sentencing hearing after losing the case with the whole Megan the Stallion shooting. The Stallion, okay? And um, let me just say this, Tory Lanez is also a Canadian. He's not an American, he's a Canadian, okay? And people are saying, free Tory Lanez, he's innocent. But the report is he's completely despondent, all right? And he's looking at a maximum sentence of 19 years in prison, but that might be reduced. And of course now he wants to be moved to state prison now because if anybody knows about California County jails, California County jails are actually more dangerous than state prison. That is absolutely true. In the county jail, everybody is in the same, pretty much, you know, like, they, you know, in prison, they, they break you, they can break you down according to what your crime is. I, I spent a night in county jail. I was in the room with a dude that was facing like 100 years. I was on the top bunk. It was like a traffic thing or something like that. You know, your, your boy ain't no gangster. Well, my mama came and got me up out of there. I was gone to never return. Pay your parking tickets. Okay. Whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do. So that was, that was enough for me that one night. So it's dangerous stuff. So Tory Lanez wants to go to state prison. Let me say this, if I can, all right? This is what I wanna talk about. Tory Lanez, I'm not dealing with if he's innocent or guilty, but I wanna deal with something that is his mindset and the behavior as to why he got into that situation in the first place. Tory Lanez was living a reckless lifestyle. Number one, I'm living in Uganda right now. One of the things you will never find me doing as an American is handling guns, handling weapons, or breaking the law. That's not Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez was out here doing silly stuff. Even August Alcina, he beat him up while the trial was going. On Twitter, he's roasting Meg Thee Stallion while they're in court. He's a complete idiot without mentorship. And the thing is, we're not even talking about the case. You were acting like you were a thug the whole time. You've been having this problem for years. Now you're in jail, you're despondent. But let me tell you something, it don't take anything to get into trouble, but it take a whole lot to get out of it. And the thing is, you always try to be a thug with your short little behind. Now you a thug now, it, it, don't, you don't, it don't feel too good. Ain't that right, young thug? Look at Gunner. All that stuff you talking about, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, then when they lock your ass up, now all of a sudden you crying, you on there telling on people. Now you snitching because you didn't check your behavior. I knew I wasn't meant for prison. So I, I, I didn't even get into the game. I didn't want to sell no drugs. I didn't even want to sell no Tylenol. I didn't want to even take Tylenol because it was too close to being a goddamn drug. Ain't no way I meant I'm too sexy to be in nobody's prison, first of all. Second of all, I'm way too smart to be there with y'all in there, okay? Because I'm gonna listen. I'm not going there at all. But some of y'all out there, y'all just wanna be out there acting a fool. You know, you wanna do what you wanna do, especially some of you, you young guys. Then when you get your booty felt on in there, now all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Now you in there, you somebody, you know, they did, they, did, they did made your face up and all that stuff. But that's what happens. Now you're despondent. Now your behavior is changing, okay? Now you don't wanna talk to nobody. Now you have low courage, low spirits, you know, all of these things. But you wasn't despondent when you was out in the street acting a fool. Let's leave Megan Thee Stallion alone. Megan Thee Stallion ain't the problem with Tory Lanez. He was going down that road anyway. Sometimes God just gotta stop you on your way to doing something really stupid. So that was his first check, but he was on his way. A lot of these guys, when they get money, you can't tell them nothing, nothing. They get money, they think the whole world belongs to them. They can't achieve nothing. I'm here to tell you, that's how they act. Most niggas, when they get $5, they start acting like real stupid, real silly-like, real petty-like, real buffoonish-like. This is what niggas do. And then when they get into trouble, all of a sudden they can't believe why they got into trouble. Now you don't want to be there because it's really tough guys in prison. It's really guys who built like that. And there's some guys who like it in there. So now you haven't seen daylight in four months because you used to you know, flying first class and business class. Ain't nothing in, in, in prison about business class in state county jail. No, no. You want to be in there doing that? Deal with, the, deal with the problems. Deal with it. Don't cry now. And it's not about free Tory Lanez about this. It's his behavior. 
His behavior was showing everybody he was on this path. So stay on the path, bro. Stay on the path. Your daddy is real unaccountable. He making excuses for you. Don't nobody want to hear that, bro. Don't nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to hear why you lying. Don't nobody want to hear why you telling the truth. Nobody wants to hear that at all. Why are you where you're at? And a lot of y'all under the sound of my voice, if you don't get your life together, that's where you're going to. You never going the same place he going. Keep, keep playing around with white people like you ain't got no sense. Thinking you somebody, you're not gonna get caught. They got cameras everywhere now. If you think it's a game, go out there. And then when they fill it up on your ass or when you over there gotta do something and they jumping you cause you ain't paid your cigarette bill, don't cry for nothing. Cause once you get in there, ain't nobody gonna help you. And trust and believe. Once he get up in there, folks gonna be pressing him. Oh, you Tory Lane. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, 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 bro. I'ma need this about you. They gonna definitely try you. Cause your music, you were saying all of that. Now you're not saying that no more. Now you're despondent. Nah, man, don't be despondent. Cause you was acting a fool anyway, bro. Keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Make some prison uh, albums from prison, bro. And and and, and, and from what I, I from what I've heard on the on, on, on what he said to the girl over the phone, I think he did it, bro. I'm sorry. I used to be defending him left and right on the channel. That I believe that guy did it. And let me tell you, let him be an example, man. Even if you don't do it, stop putting yourself in situations where you're carrying guns. Look at Devin Haney. Devin Haney is one of the top boxers right now. Arrested in Hollywood on a gun charge. You're 30 and 0. You just won a huge victory over Lomancheco, who's one of the great boxers of the generation. And now, because you can't drive, you're in a. I mean, and, you, and he's always like, like, like listen. <laughs> It's so stupid. In California, you ain't got no gun. Like, listen, you're not supposed to have no goddamn guns. Then you have a fall guy in the car. The guy don't want to take the fall guy. Now you in court. Look at the Javante Davis. Can't stop doing silly stuff. Deontay Wilder. Can't stop doing silly. All it takes is one time, bro. Just one time to ruin your life forever. I had almost been there myself. So I know how I feel. A few times. I remember one time, I never really tell the story. I almost got, I almost got shot. I got, actually, I got shot at. And that bullet, had it had been a stronger uh, 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 a stronger gun, could have blew my engine up. And I would have I burnt up in the car. All because I was playing one night. I could have not been here today. All for something stupid, me and my friend, talking trash to these kids, kid put all this start shooting at us. And the sad thing is, we didn't even know that we was being shot at. We thought it was funny. Well, look at the hood of my car. I'm like, did this dude shot us? What if it would have hit me in the head? Dead. All because of what? Something dumb. It just take one time. But Tory Lane's been having all kind of chances. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.